All right, so he's down here trying to adjust this clutch. It's got one of those Eaton easy adjust little uh, things. You push them in, and then you turn the you turn them clockwise, and it or counterclockwise, whichever way you want to adjust it. And it, it, it orbit or it revolves this ring here. So the problem I'm having is that this ring was seized to the pressure plate and I couldn't actually get that ring to turn and I actually was breaking the, the teeth off of this gear. Uh, I had another one so I replaced it with a different one. So basically this thing was just seized right up and it didn't want to move at all. So one of the guys was telling me about a trick. So I got an air hammer here with a little hammer bit on there and I was hammering on this right here on the edge. It's actually, it's actually threaded here but the only place I could really get was there because this is kind of soft, it's not hardened or anything so when you're hitting here it's going to start kind of making a weak point so you could see where it made a little bit of mark there where I was testing to see how it would operate. Uh, so anyway, so I was hammering here along this lip here and I rotated the engine and I hammered along that lip there and then I rotated the engine and I hammered along that lip there again. Um, ultimately, I cannot condone this type of activity, but what I actually ended up doing in the end was I just started the engine, I held this here tight, and I just hammered away on it right there on that edge because there was nothing there on this particular pressure plate that was going to interfere. And I just had the engine spinning and I was just hammering on it right here for a couple of minutes and then I stopped. Um, so I'm able to get adjustments out of it now. Um, as you can see, I can't, I can't turn it as it is now, but if you hammer on it right here or anywhere on this edge, it will rotate. So, see how I'm getting rotation now? So, if you've got an issue adjusting your clutch, that's a trick that you can do to try to save you from having to replace the pressure plate. Uh, I'm very excited now that that is working. I don't have to take the transmission out because this would be truck number two that I'm having this problem with. So I'll go back to truck one and I'll adjust that one up. Try with the same method. But anyway, I hope that can help somebody. Uh, if not, let me know what I did wrong, and I thank you for watching. Oh, I uh, I have the clutch lever depressed right now. Uh, you can't adjust this without the clutch lever depressed. So I have I have a a board holding the lever down up against the seat, so I don't have to have somebody sitting in there while I do this. But when I when I when I hammer on this, I have the clutch depressed. So. Yep. Um, yeah, hold on a second. Yeah. So you gotta have a half inch gap. Oh, hold on, hold on, let off. You have a half inch gap between your throw up bearing and your clutch brake. It's a little big. So we'll turn this clockwise to get it to release or to bring the bearing back. Now you have to have the clutch pushed in to adjust this. All right, you want to push the clutch in? Alright, let it off. Still quite a bit. <coughs> I push it in.
I let it off. I push it in. Let it off. Oh, this thing is pretty far out. Push it in. And that, let it off. Push it in. Let it off. All right. Pretty close there. I'll push it in. So the final adjustment is to make sure that you can hold a 10,000th shim between the clutch brake and the pressure plate without it slip being able to be pulled out and then your clutch is adjusted. <coughs> so I'm using a half inch bolt but you want to get a half inch between the brake and the raw bearing. I think it's between 500 thousandths and 560 thousandths or something like that. Um, also, you want to make sure that you can squeeze a 10 thousandth shim between the throw out bearing and the clutch brake to make sure that it engages the clutch brake. And then the clutch should be adjusted. Uh, if you have a new clutch going in, then you adjust your, adjust your linkage so you have uh, about two inches of free pedal before the before the top of the pedal but if you're just adjusting it that's usually kind of a one-time one-time adjustment and then you should be good for the the life of the clutch with that and then uh, you would adjust it again if you put a new one in